Good evening. Well, we have now rolled through into the start of meteorological spring, but let's take a look back at winter 2022. Of course, many of us will remember it for that succession of storms that we saw bringing all that windy and wet weather. But if we take winter as a whole, December to February, it's actually been drier than average across much of the UK, particularly so for parts of southern England. There's been a bit of variation. Parts of Wales and northwest England have been a little bit wetter than average. But wherever you are, it's been yet another mild winter with temperatures across the UK 1.1 degrees above average and now five of the top 10 warmest winters on record have all occurred since 2010. What about the here and now? Well, it's not particularly warm over the next couple of days. We've got quite a cold air mass with us, but things are looking largely dry with some sunshine by day, but we're certainly expecting overnight frosts. And that's because we've got this area of high pressure dominating our weather at the moment. It's gradually going to ease its way off towards the east as we head through this week, meaning we'll see lower pressure moving in from the Atlantic. But certainly for the here and now, it is cold and clear out there. We're going to see a sharp frost developing tonight, particularly in the north. Temperatures minus four or minus five degrees, even in some of our towns and cities. Colder than that, though, in more rural spots. So to start your Monday morning after that cold, frosty start, we will see more sunshine than we had through the weekend, particularly across southern and eastern parts of England, where that cloud's been quite stubborn to clear. Bit of patchy cloud for Northern Ireland, southern Scotland too. But despite the spring sunshine, only seven to nine degrees, it is not going to feel very warm out there. Now moving through Monday night and on into Tuesday, high pressure starts to drift off towards the east and that will allow weather fronts to move in from the west. But Tuesday morning is going to be another cold, frosty start to the day. Probably those temperatures not quite as low as they will be first thing Monday morning. Through the day, a bit of a change though, we'll start to see the winds picking up from the west, gales in fact across the northwest and some rain arriving too. That's going to affect Northern Ireland and western parts of Britain, whereas further east you should stay dry. We'll just about see those temperatures nudging up into double figures, but through into the middle of the week, notice these yellow colours. This warmer air mass arrives across the UK with a southerly wind as we head on into Wednesday. So a little bit warmer, yes, but also wetter and windier as this front moves in from the west. So that brings quite persistent rain for a time to western parts of Britain, Northern Ireland too. A bit of uncertainty about how quickly it nudges its way eastwards, but it looks like much of eastern England should stay dry for quite a good part of the day. As that front then pushes further east into Thursday, it's going to bump into that area of high pressure, so it's going to tend to fizzle out. We may well start Thursday on quite a cloudy, murky note with a few showers around here and there, but it looks like it should brighten up through the day. So Thursday, not a bad day, less windy compared to Wednesday, a bit more sunshine and temperatures around 10 to 14 degrees. And then as we look towards the end of the week then into Friday now, and we'll start to see more isobars again appearing on the map. So Friday, again, quite a breezy sort of day, but the wind's coming in from a southerly direction. So yes, it's milder, but we're set to see a bit of showery rain. Some uncertainty about the detail, but it should move its way eastwards through the day. But we're certainly going to be ending the week on a much milder note than we started it on. So really to summarise your weather through the week ahead, we start off on that chilly but dry note with some overnight frosts. Things turn milder, wetter and windier later on in the week. But for now, it's back to Charlotte in the high wheeled. Bye-bye. Thank you.